The video is about to start in a few minutes, so listen to some music and I gotta get my stuff ready. Alright guys, this is Elite Lex 23 coming to you again with another video. So let me tell you guys, I promised you guys in my other videos that I was going to give you guys a, bing, a gear bag video. This will be my 2017 gear bag video for my lacrosse outdoor bag. Um, my indoor bag is basically the same, I just need another helmet. This is one of my cleats. Um, well, these are actually the only cleats I have. These are Under Armour Mac highlights or something like that. Or highlights, MC highlights. Anyway, these are the most comfortable under, I'm so confused. These are the most comfortable cleats I have ever had. Um, they really didn't take that long to break in. They got this V, V56 technology right here. And what it does, it prevents you from getting turf toe while you guys are running on the field. Um, comment below what the name of these cleats are. I actually forget because I've had them for like two years. Um, to my gear bag, I have a lacrosse face-off bag. I only bought it because it was only, what, $35 online. So why not? I'm going to pause the, the thing the video so if I pause it it'll be a lot less time and I'll just come up with the next topic in my hand or item in my hand all right guys so I'm gonna start off with my well I already started off with my cleats but since these are super cheap and I use them for defense these are my stallion 100 um just shoulder pads um, this year I'm gonna be playing midfield so I might be getting the Nike vape. Oh my god, I fucking hate the outside sometimes. <laughs> Excuse my language. We're gonna beep. Just don't pretend I didn't hear. Uh, didn't say that. Uh, I might be getting the Nike Vapor shoulder pads because they're a lot thinner. And when I throw with these, this tends to like get in the way. But it helps me do throw. It helps me throw the proper way instead of the T Rex arms. Um, I bought these on Amazon. They're just like sleeveless shoulder pads, uh, uh, rib pads, so, because those don't really go as high, and they were only like, what, two, three bucks. Um, uh, hold on, paused one more time. All right, guys, so this is uh, my mouthpiece. It's uh, not the best. I'm trying to get, well, as soon as I get my braces off, I'm going to be getting the... Damn, I forget the name of it. Comment below if you know it. I'm going to tell you the description. The the mouthpiece, you put it in hot water, you mold it, and it's like the most comfortable mouthpiece in the world, and it's way better than the rest of them. I got ice black. I really don't have anything in my pockets because I have like this big mesh box that I usually keep everything in. Uh, for elbow pads, I have midfield elbow pads because they were cheap these are the brine clutches with grid flex technology I like these a lot whoa they stink a little bit geez that's a little stinky um I like these because of the oh don't zoom in don't zoom in all right cool sorry just trying to get that okay um the grid flex technology is really great it's super flexible so like all these little openings, if you can see them, right? You barely get, you barely even see that. Uh, they just slide right up, and so they don't slide while you play. It got like, the, it has this rubber, uh, rubber die, rubber inside, so it like sticks to your arm and stuff. Uh, okay, putting that in the bag. Also, what? Sorry. Um, 
you already seen the elbow pad. Now, my first pair of gloves. Um, these are the Warrior Mac D Light 2s. Um, these are the first gloves I've ever bought in because of the fact that they were so cheap. And um, I've had these for like two years. And the only thing that happened was that where my palm is at, there's like ripping in the palm. So I had to put some uh, medical tape. But you barely even see it. Like if I move fast and stuff, like you barely see it. But it's right there. And it, you know what? The medical tape it actually like locks my thumb in. So while the rest of my fingers sometimes slide up, my thumb always stays there. So I might just tape the rest of my fingers just, just look for, uh, co not cosmetic, but uh, modifications. Um, these do have cuffs, but in the summer, my hands do get sweaty in these. But in the winter, honestly, you would think that these gloves would suck in the winter. Everybody had to put rubber gloves and their lacrosse gloves on because their gloves sucked in the cold. Mine didn't. So that was good. Uh, when I went to the NCAA lacrosse championship up in Boston, I told you about this that I went in the other video. Uh, cleats are out. I bought these gloves. These are the Brian King 5s. Um, when you saw my weapon of choice video, if you've seen it at all, I said that the reason why I don't have as much tape as like some people is because of the fact that I have like these small little tape jobs, like they're just tape rings. Cause I have this mesh right here and on also on the, on the deep, the mag, these are pretty thin. Like there's mesh here, but it's thin. Like it looks like it's like big and rough and stuff it's not it's thin um I, I threw around with these trying to break them in and stuff and these are honestly really nice they keep my hand nice and cool and I've been playing around the yard with it and stuff like that so that's nice I don't want to get them dirty because they're white and gray but you know what it's lacrosse equipment it's gonna get dirty my helmet is a Cascade R gold and black um, if it's nice on me I'm not even gonna lie <sighs> yeah it fits pretty good I like it and then tighten it up and third bar amazing have no second bar syndrome at all with this helmet I like it it, it looks nice I know it's a little too flashy but it's what I like <sighs> Oh wow! Don't want, do not want that to come off. Speaking about flashy, this is my lacrosse penny. This is my lacrosse penny. Damn dogs! My lacrosse. Are you serious? My lacrosse penny. Uh, I got this at the NCAA lacrosse thing most of my stuff I got this year is from NCAA lacrosse it has a white and it has a yellow side to for offense and defense they handed these out when they saw a whole bunch of kids like play a mini stick game so we got a, we got confused and they just started throwing us these and we used to, it was all right I also got another one when I pre-ordered tickets for the next upcoming season so basically that was my gear bag video uh, the socks I usually wear are the what do you call it east coast dye socks for lacrosse they're actually really nice uh they might be dirty because i'm wearing my crusty slides um that is my gear bag video for 2017 box i think the only thing will, different will be the helmet of course uh that's about it so comment like subscribe and uh please comment below some of the things like the sorry I'm trying to read the the under armor cleats but it didn't say anything it only says under armor clutch fit so they're really good cleats the gloves are good everything is good all right comment like subscribe I know I took t took up 10 minutes of your time and counting I just babble on and stuff so I'm trying to get a lot better at this
Uh, like I said, comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you guys absolutely later. And, um, you know, just stay safe. Lacrosse is a very dangerous game. Alright, guys. Bye.